Video number two is on abrasives. Uh, showing you different abrasives, different types of abrasives, cutting wheels, grinding wheels, different grits, flapper wheels, polishing compounds, wire brushes. All of this is, uh, has to do with abrasives. It has to do with cleaning up your welding, cleaning up aluminum prior to welding, getting the oxidation off depending upon whether you want to polish the aluminum afterwards you would want to use something finer you would want to possibly polish it before you weld it rather than cleaning it up with a sanding disc or a flapper wheel that way it's not because if you it's a softer type material the more scratches you put in any type of a material you have to polish those scratches back out so you'd want to use something that is less coarse and finer, more of a polish to get the oxides off before you weld them. And that way all you have to polish up when you're done is the weld itself. So looking at these different types of uh, wheels that I have out here, I'll run through what they are. This is a 16th inch cutoff wheel. This is used for cutting steels. You can use it for cutting aluminums. Uh, you have to watch out with the cutting aluminums because uh, wheel like this can sometimes get aluminum built up in it and it will explode so you definitely would want to have a, a face shield on when you were using that. This is uh, called a, a flapper disc and this is used on a four and a half inch grinder as was the cutoff wheel. It's sized to fit a four and a half inch grinder. This comes in different uh, courses. It comes from a 60 grit. You can get it in a 36 grit up uh, higher into the 120s and the 180s grits depending upon uh, uh, how much you want to or don't want to polish the metal that you're using it on. This can be used on aluminum, stainless steel. It can also be used on uh, regular steel. And again, it comes in the different grits. Obviously, the grit means uh, how much there is and how coarse it is. So the lower the number, the coarser it is. The higher the number, uh, the less coarse. This is your standard all around grinding type wheel for a four and a half inch grinder. This you would use only really on uh, steels. You would never use this on an aluminum type. Uh, and again, this would get impregnated with uh, aluminum and could explode. So you want to be careful what you're doing with that. Then you come to what's called the flapper wheel. Now this here is basically sandpaper that's put together and as it spins around on a die grinder such as this right here, then that would do a sanding and uh, has different arbors like this to fit different size grinders because these die grinders can come in eighth inch. This one for example is a quarter inch die grinder. This is a wire wheel which also can be used but again a wire wheel is fairly coarse so it will put lots of scratches in your material. So depending upon what you're using it on it would make less scratches in stainless steel but it would really scratch up an aluminum piece of an aluminum. Then we have the uh, angle type grinder which comes with a different style arbor. You can use that with different grit sanding paper that also works really good. It screws onto there. It's a really good uh, type of piece of equipment, really good for getting in and that also you can get different diameters and different sizes. This is more of a buffing type wheel. So when I say aluminum you would want to clean aluminum oxides off with this. You can get different grits in this buffing wheel also and then this actually the green one which is what this is is very fine. It's actually almost polishing so you could actually polish it almost to a mirror finish with this. At that point in time when you get it almost to a mirror finish then you have to go to this which is a cloth buffing wheel with the arbor, quarter inch arbor. So that would again go inside of, of this die grinder which runs fairly high RPMs. And then you can run this, you can see how this has been used here inside of there and you get this buffing compound that's in this buffing block on here and then you put that on your aluminum and you can actually polish it out to a mirror finish. When you use, if you were to use a wire wheel like this for an example, you would always want that to be a stainless steel. You don't want it to be steel because stainless being clean, um, it works really well and keeps from impregnating 
other stainless doesn't rust depending upon the type of stainless you get but if you get uh, a lower quality stainless like a 304 stainless and you rub it you utilize it on regular steel you can actually make that stainless rust and if you use it on regular steel you would not want to reuse it on an aluminum or on a stainless steel because you could make your stainless steel your project you're working on actually rust so you want to segregate your, your wheels and your stuff that you use. You only want to use the wire brushes. If you're using them on aluminum, you want to use them on aluminum. If you're using them on steel, you want to use them on steel. If you're using them on stainless, you want to use them only on stainless. Hand wire brushes that you can buy. This is a wire brush that I purchased. It's fairly cheap. As you can see, the wires bend and they bend over and it doesn't take long and this wire brush is junk so this is a uh, real cheap style of wire brush and you can look at this one here which you can see by how dark the wood is and how old it is this wire brush is probably 10 years old and I still get good use out of it so when you spend your money they may be four or five bucks for a good wire brush good stainless wire brush but that's what you want to buy you want to spend the four or five bucks this one's 10 years old and still works this one is uh, brand new and you can see what happens with that one it's basically useless so hopefully this will help you out this video and uh, my next one will be on aluminum and cleaning up of aluminum and oxides and starting welding thank you